up, Slackers? Oh, welcome to the channel again. Sorry we haven't been streaming, but we had a little bit of issues. And it's been kind of messing with me a little bit. It's kind of driving me nuts. Uh, I don't know if you guys got it from my messages that I've been putting up, but it's been driving me crazy. So, anyways, so the issue that I've been having is... Check this out. So if you look here, we got this beautiful liquid nitrogen pot. This is the Reactor 3 on the Threadripper. 64 cores of craziness, 128 threads. It is beautiful. So I wanted to show it and have another camera set up. And you can see here that you can see this gorgeous looking view. We're using a Sony G Master 50 millimeter. And yeah, it looks pretty awesome. So it looks great here, but when we go back to OBS, that's where the problem starts. So let's go back to OBS real quick. So you can see here, this doesn't match what's over there. So what is this? What is this? Now when I first saw this, my first thought was basically it had to be something to do with the cable. So I ended up switching out cables, trying cables... I don't know, all different types of cables that I have. Um, I'm kind of limited because the Sony A7 Mark III basically only takes mini HDMI. So it causes some issues which, with which cables I have. So I ended up finding my other cables that I had and tried uh, a bunch of them and still the same issue. So I was like, okay, what could it be next? So I, I started playing in some of the settings in OBS. So if you go to properties, you can... Do device default, go custom, and sometimes it would work and sometimes it wouldn't work. So um, I ended up, okay, figuring out, like, okay, it can't be OBS. I ended up upgrading OBS. Uh, I was like, okay, maybe there's something in OBS that's causing me a problem that has happened previously in older versions. So I figured, why not upgrade it? So I upgraded it and still the same issue. So Now here's the current setup. We got a Z390 EVGA dark. We got a 9900K with a Corsair AIO. We have the EVGA for the win. It's a 3080 and then we got two Elgatos. I just happen to have a backup Elgato 4K 60 Pro because originally when I wanted to do my stream setup, um, I wanted to have three of them so that way I have three camera views. So, uh, but yeah, so on, on a Z390 you only have a certain amount of PCIe, so I wasn't able to use it. This setup has only been temporary, so uh, I don't know. It's been more of a temporary headache than anything. But So I ended up switching out the Elgato 460, 4K60 Pro to uh, a new one, and of course, same issue. So at that point, I was kind of like wondering. I was like, okay, let me check the other Elgato that's in there and see if it works on there. Maybe... I don't know, maybe there's something I'm missing. Uh, when you're troubleshooting and stuff, you always want to try, I don't know, try everything, right? So I ended up switching it over, and guess what? Same issue. So after going, changing all cables, trying new cables, trying new Elgatos, switching out the Elgatos, uh, going to a different slot. Well, when I changed it to another slot, it actually worked again. So that made me think, okay, maybe it's something with that PCIe slot. So... You know what I ended up doing? Of course, I ended up breaking out the CRC. Now, when we talk about CRC, a lot of people, CRC is just the manufacturer, right? They make a bunch of different fluids. So I just want to get this out there. There's many different CRCs, but this one in particular is the QD Electronic Cleaner. This is the stuff you get to clean your PCs. It's the best. There's nothing better in it. This is the stuff you get. This is... This is the real deal. So, of course, I sprayed this throughout the whole PCIe. And of course, voila, it seemed to be working. But that was only for like a day or two. So what got me thinking about is I've actually spent so much time on this setup that I'm, it, this whole machine was only supposed to be temporary. So for me to spend this much time, it's become just more of a hassle than anything, and we're not doing any streams right now, which is making me go crazy, and I know you guys want to see streams! So instead of troubleshooting this machine anymore and driving me absolutely insane, I might as well go through and build the machine that I wanted to do in the first place. 
Yeah, it so probably sound really awful, but whatever. But yeah, I do highly recommend QD Electronics Cleaner from CRC. This is the red can, not the blue can. Everybody knows all the blue can incident at Gamers Nexus where I sprayed a CPU, a nice, I think it was an 8-core at the time, and it fell. And that's because it actually has way different pressure than the red can. This has a, It's a lower pressure, but this stuff, uh, compared to the blue can, it basically, I don't know, it, it dries quicker, I guess you can say. Uh, the blue can seems to leave a little bit of a film, and it doesn't seem to, uh, I don't know, make stuff disintegrate like paste and stuff like that. So this is highly recommended, and if you want to support the channel, look in the description. Uh, there's a link on Amazon so you can buy your own. I have, like, I keep, like, 10 cans of this stuff, so... This, it, every PC troubleshooter in the world should have this stuff. So make sure you like and subscribe. That way you don't miss any action with the stream PC. And if you want to support the channel, you can always go to patreon.com, Bearded Hardware. And that's where the Slacker Army resides. You get access to Discord for a low price of $2 a month. You better get in there quick because it's going to go up to $5 a month. That's where I hang out daily and chill with the Slacker Army. So if you have any PC questions and you need some answers, you can go there. But that's it for today, guys. Make sure uh, you follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram, follow me on YouTube, Twitch, and that's it. Slacker out!